Hey there, Aries. Welcome to reading for mid-January 2023. Uh, we're going to jump right in here, Aries, and we are going to see uh, what is going on for you. I just <laughs> You have this teeth card, but I read that as root canal. So uh, I don't know. If you're having a root canal, I'm sending you good vibes and good luck as well. But you have this uh, teeth card that says control change and this cat card that says jealousy and gossip as well. I feel like some, like, I don't know. You're turning the tables on something. I remember, you know... I'm going to link it up down below because I'm almost a thousand percent sure that a couple of months ago I did a reading for you called Turning the Tables or something like that. I don't remember what it was called, but I will try to find it. I will link it up down below. For some reason, I think, you know, just it popped into my head that that reading is going to apply right now. So you might want to rewatch that. Again, I will link that up down below uh, if I can find it, hopefully. Um, and if I remember, <laughs> uh, but uh, let's see, it's almost like you're turning the tables on someone or something like that. You know, it's also kind of interesting that if you're dealing with love or even this could be a work situation as well, I'm getting where maybe, oh, sorry, let me switch. Uh, maybe someone is jealous of the work that you're doing or the opportunities that you're getting in work. It's almost like the tables have turned, like maybe you had a little bit of jealousy in the past or something like that, but now it's now it's like people are jealous of you. And again, I'm not calling you out here. I think jealousy can be a very uh, normal human kind of, um, you know, emotion, right? <laughs> we all feel jealous no matter what anyone says. Um, but I, and, and again, I'm not saying you're getting over it necessarily. I just feel you're like you're seeing you're, you're just accepting things for how they are here. But the tables have turned in some part of your life here is really what I keep getting in this reading. You have the seven of cups, the four, uh, two of wands, sorry, and the ace of pentacles. It's like a new big opportunity coming in for you. I also feel like there's an opportunity. It's almost like there's an exit. <laughs> I almost feel that, you know, really that's what I'm getting here is that I feel like there is an exit to darkness or to some sort of challenge or difficulty that you've been having. It might not, not even be that big of a deal. Like maybe you've been trying to grow your business and you just haven't been figure, able to figure it out. Maybe you've been trying to uh, find a new relationship or maybe you've been hoping to find a way out of a bad relationship or whatever. And it's kind of like I see like a door opening in my head. And it's like this exit is like the thing that is turning the table. So I feel like it's an opportunity as well. It's kind of like just what you needed. It, you know, it's kind of like just what you needed as well. I have so much stuff popping into my head here. It's crazy. Like, I feel like you're dodging a bullet. Like, those words are popping into my head here as well. There is a change happening, but it's like you're getting out of a situation. You have the two wands. Two wands is about taking the lead. It's also about realizing or needing to realize that he has a whole world in his hands on this card traditionally. On this card, um, this is the after tarot, by the way. And on this card, there's two people on it, but, and, and this could be part of the exit, by the way, is that there could be a person who kind of uh, helps like level you up or helps give you a kind of like a leg up here is the kind of the feeling that I get. It might not be a person though. For others, um, I do feel it's like a work opportunity or business opportunity. Again, maybe you've been suffering financially and the, then boom, here comes a big, nice opportunity that kind of gets you out of any situations that you're in. Could also be an opportunity to move because uh, you always get this energy of moving here, Aries, and you have the chariot <laughs> at the end. And you have this two of wands as well, which, you know, he's he needs to leave a comfort zone. He's standing at the top of his castle. There's normally a village down over here, which not on this version, but um, the village represents his comfort zone and he needs to leave his comfort zone. Uh, you also have the seven of cups as well. And again, I feel like there are a lot of kind of like options and that could be distracting. But again, I feel like you need to pick the exit. It'll, I just see so many good things happening for you if you kind of take this exit door. It. I don't even know if it's an exit because it's like, are you really getting out of something or what is happening? I don't know, maybe it's, it feels confusing to me because of the seven of cups. Um, you know, maybe there are a lot of people as well in your life who are telling you don't pick this new direction, this ace of pentacles. But again, this is an ace of pentacles. It's not like something bad, right? So pretty intense already. Um, let's see where this is. And I think, you know, really what I'm getting here is, as well is like I feel that things are happening behind the scenes. You have this whale spirit next, which says trust in the great mystery. And I don't remember, but I'm pretty sure in the book for that deck that she says that it kind of represents like angels, your ancestors working behind the scenes. So it's like things have been going on behind the scenes. With these seven of cups, you have the ace of pentacles. Yes, you need to move in this direction. Whatever big opportunity you get, I would not second guess it. 
I would accept it because it looks like a big opportunity that is like an exit, turning the tables on people in your life, whatever. With the Two of Wands, you have the Knight of Swords. Um, Knight of Swords is a card of like needing to not rush and needing to not be hasty. People could be telling you that you're being hasty, but again, I feel like something is for you here. So I feel like you need to trust your own intuition and... Um, you know, I feel like you need to kind of like listen to yourself. I would be careful, like if you're leaving a situation, like a job or a business, um, you know, there uh, or even a relationship, like a person could be trying to confuse you so that you don't leave. Maybe they're saying, oh, you're going to lose that, this, that, and the other thing if you leave. You're making a huge mistake, blah, 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 blah. No, I don't think you are. Uh, with the Ace of Pentacles, you have the devil. <laughs> like I said, I would be careful of anything toxic. And I really feel you could be turning the tables on a devil situation. It could be a person. It doesn't have to be though. For some of you, I feel it's just something that is stealing your energy or, um, you know, it doesn't even have to be that big of a deal, right? The devil could say that maybe you're just not getting the, maybe you're just not getting the kind of like what you put into a situation. Maybe there's unequal give and take, you know, maybe you have a YouTube channel, maybe you have a business and you're putting in the work, but you're not getting a result. It's like whatever this opportunity is that's coming in for you, I feel it's like results much, much better. You have this whale spirit. Again, it says trust in the great mystery. Again, I feel like there's a lot going on behind the scenes. You know, maybe your guides, your ancestors, whatever, are kind of um, encouraging this change, but I also feel like they're developing a change for you. And it's like something is divinely guided. You know, this is meant to represent like ancient energy. It's meant to represent an energy of something that will last for a long time or something that you were, you came here to do or whatever you want to call it. And you have the Eight of Wands, the Queen of Wands and the Page of Swords. So I feel for a lot of you, this is encouraging you to explore. The Page of Swords, I always say, is kind of like a, a detective. He really is willing to look into situations. He's willing to learn as much as he possibly can about pretty much anything that he wants to do. He really does his research. He really, you know, if he becomes interested in something, he learns about it. If he sees an exit, he learns about it. <laughs> and he educates himself before he makes a move. And I would definitely do that. Uh, you also have the Queen of Wands. I, see, here's the thing. is like, you know, I feel like you know everything right now. <laughs> And I feel like this Queen of Wands is saying, don't let people come into your life and confuse you. I feel like maybe you've had people in your life who do confuse you and then you regret it. Like, you know, you made a right decision or something and you go back on a decision. I have that popping into my head. This could be in love and business, whatever. And I feel like it's about to happen again, but it's happened before is what this is telling me that you've had situations in your life where, you know, maybe you make a decision to go one way or you make a decision to go do something in your life and people make you question yourself and then you don't do it. I feel like this is saying no. You need to go straight for something and don't turn around. We literally have the moon here in the moon. She's walking back this way. To me, the moon says, don't turn around. You need to go to those mountains in the background. You know, it's like sometimes to think in life, we choose to do something that might be difficult and people don't want to see us get hurt. So they try to steer us away from something that they see as dangerous, like starting a business or whatever. It's like, trust me, all the business advice as someone who owns multiple businesses personally, right? Not just this channel actual businesses, uh, what I would say is all business advice I've ever received in my life has been from people who have never had a business, right? People who've had jobs, basically. It's like, why would I listen to them? That's what this is saying, this moon card saying, why would you listen to people who aren't in your shoes? You know, don't listen to people who are in your shoes. You have the eight of wands here. Eight of wands is quick success, abundance, you know, good things coming in for you here. So I do feel like there's rapid success coming in for you. Uh, I also feel like there's a lot of happiness coming in with this Eight of Wands, so I really like this. I think it said Eight of Pentacles, but it's the Eight of Wands, obviously. I'm also getting something about good news coming in for you, so uh, let's see if we can figure out what this good news is. It's not immediately clear, like, what that is. It is interesting to me that he's holding an arrow here, so I feel like you need to have, like, laser-like arrow focus, like, you know, aim, ready, aim, fire, right? <laughs> there's a book called Ready, Fire, Aim, but I feel like this is saying, no, you need to ready, ready, aim, fire, <laughs> With the Eight of Wands, you have the Queen of Pentacles. I feel like you're changing your story here in a good way. It's like you want, you don't want to keep reliving the same things over and over and over again in your life. I feel like you're looking for more excitement. Not what the Queen of Pentacles represents, but that's what I'm getting. I also feel if you want love, I wouldn't really call this a love reading, although there's a little bit of love here. But you know what I would say is that th this could be love. It could be an earth sign. That is Capricorn. That could be coming in for you. With the Queen of Wands, you have the Seven of Swords. See, I feel like you, some of you have a liar, cheater, stealer 
in your life or someone who is a liar. And I feel like you could be kind of like, that's the person you need to be careful of. And again, I feel like that's only for some of you. If you have a liar, cheater, stealer in your life, could be a past lover, a current lover, could be a business partner, a friend, family member, whatever. Uh, I feel like you need to avoid this person for sure. And don't let them steer your life, plain and simple. Uh, with the Page of Swords, you have the Three of Pentacles. See, you're learning who you can trust right here. And it's probably different than what you have been trusting all along. So I feel like some of you, it's almost like you're learning that there are people who you can trust in life, but maybe they're just, you know, maybe they're very different than people that you've had in your life up until this point. So, you know, pretty interesting. Uh, next, you have this card that says, a powerful change will transform your life. Are you kidding? Exactly what we've been talking about. You have this charity card. It says, donate to um, donate to creative, positive energy around you. Yes, I would. it says, the more you give yourself, the more you'll nourish your soul. Exactly what I would be doing if I were you in this reading. I would be giving as much as you can to yourself. There might be people who, I kind of felt this on the moon card. It's like there are people, I think when people feel us slipping away, it's like, that's why people do this. You know, that's why they don't want to starting businesses because then you change, right? I love, if I don't hear people saying you've changed at least, I don't know, like once a week, I'm doing something wrong, right? I love when people say you've changed because I'm like, yeah, damn right. I'm not the same person I was in third grade. Like, are you freaking kidding me? Of course not. You know, and that's the problem. People get stuck in a comfort zone. This to me is you turning the tables, blasting through a comfort zone and changing, being something very different, right? And so uh, if I were you, I would love to hear the words you've changed. <laughs> you have the moon, the 10 of swords and the three of cups. The moon to me says you need to go to these mountains down here and you need to climb those mountains. Again, the moon does not say stop. These two pillars on the moon specifically tell the fool to not get off his path. He set out to do something and the moon says you need to see it through all the way to the end. And yes, you might have to go through some darkness or you might have to go through a period of time where you don't know where you're going, but at the same time, you're heading towards a victory. It's also interesting that you have this chariot card here. The chariot is a card of setting yourself apart. And I think I've said this to you recently as well, Aries. You know, it makes perfect sense. You have Jupiter in your first. It's going to be moving into your second. It's going to retrograde back into your first this year. And then, you know, next year it's going to officially move into your second. But it really wouldn't surprise me if you are changing, if you are setting yourself apart. He's leaving the city behind him on the chariot card so he can, you know, find his own place so that, you know, maybe he, maybe he's leaving that city because there's too much competition or maybe everybody is the same in that city and he's going somewhere where he can build his own city, where he can create his own rules or whatever the case may be. And I feel a lot of you, again, this is part of the tables turning. You have the Ten of Swords here. Something is dead done over with and I feel like you realize it. For some of you, it could be a relationship because we have the Six of Cups as well uh, right here. So you could be ending something uh, with the Six of Cups. I also feel... You know, some of you might have a person in your life who like tries to say that they're like way more important than they actually are, or maybe they're try they try to convince you that they can do a lot more for you than they actually can. And I don't know why that's popping into my head, but you know, some of you could be dealing with that. I think this is what you need to focus on right here is the three of cups is people who actually kind of support you, people who give to you, people who fulfill you. I think you know here, Aries as well. It's like, you know, the people that when you're with them, you feel better, you feel lighter, you feel happier. And you also know the people who make you feel worse. <laughs> and I feel like this is saying, clearly, only spend time with people who make you feel better. Spend time with the people who uplift you and, and all that other good stuff as well, is what I would say. So let's see here. Uh, with the moon card, you have the fool. Uh, I think we weren't we talking about the world on the two of wands or something like that. You know, the whole point of the world is that the fool, and we were talking about the fool on the moon card as part of the fool's journey. So I kind of feel like you have to see something through to the end, but I, I do feel like you're taking kind of like a leap of faith. With the 10 of swords, you have the page of wands. Yeah, you're ready for something new. You know, it's like death, um, 10 of swords, death, rock bottom. It doesn't get worse than that. And it's like, you're starting a new journey with the page of wands. With the three of cups, you have the king of swords here. This could be like law and order. <coughs> excuse me, I'm still getting over a cold I had, but, um, you know, this could be like law and order, or it could be you taking control of your life. The King of Swords is like a true mentor, but I almost feel this is like your energy. I almost feel like you are becoming an expert or, you know, it's like you're becoming much more sure of yourself. He has a lot of wisdom and knowledge, the King of Swords, and it doesn't matter what gender you are. I feel like you're just embracing the King of Swords energy of like knowing what to do in life. 
Uh, next, you have this Griffin card. It says honor and good luck. So I feel like there's like honor and good luck <laughs> coming in for you uh, with this card. And I think it's because you're standing up for yourself and you're taking control of your life, plain and simple. And I feel like you're not allowing people to like sway your decision making or you're not allowing people to take control. You know, the chariot is a card that says where there's a will, there's a way. He takes control of his life. And, you know, it's a card of willpower. He really, he it's a card of hard control as well. There's two cards of control. Uh, strength card and this card. Strength card is soft control. This is a card of hard control, like really taking control of the reins making things happen. And again, he's setting himself apart. So I feel like that's part of the tables turning in your life. You also have the Ten of Cups, uh, happy home, happy family. So I feel like there's happiness, joy, abundance, like good things coming in for you with the Ten of Cups. Um, I also feel like a little bit of fortune after difficulty here. So if you've been through a difficult period of time, I feel like there are some fortunate things that are going to be happening for you, especially if you take this exit, you know, this exit door. It's like, I know the word exit, I don't even know that that's the right word because it's like, you know, I think you're re exiting one thing, you're going to another. It's not like you're walking into emptiness, you know. I feel like you're walking into a much better life. Um, ten of cups, fortune after difficulty, happiness, joy, abundance, like good things. <laughs> and you have the six of cups. Uh, some of you could be thinking about the past, but really, I mean, the six of cups is a gift from the universe to me. To me, it represents a turnaround, meaning like the gift we receive is normally with the Six of Cups, maybe we're bumping up against an obstacle and the Six of Cups like removes the obstacle from our life. So that's kind of like what I'm getting here on that Six of Cups energy. With the Chariot, you have the Justice card. Uh, justice is cause and effect. It says if you put energy into things and put energy back into you, then you're moving in the right direction. Uh, I do feel there could be some justice coming in for you. Some of you could be dealing with a legal situation as well. Uh, King of Swords, Ten of Swords, Justice. Uh, seven of swords. Um, I would make sure to stay honest in the situation, but at the same time, this to me looks like a legal situation, like a legal victory or a legal situation coming to an end. Here you go with the 10 of cups. You have the six of pentacles, same thing. The scales, just like on the justice card. This is equal give and take as well. So if you are looking for love, again, I do not think love is a dominant energy here at all, but if you're looking for love, it looks to me like you could be attracting a person uh, who's very wise, has a lot of wisdom, but also is very, you know, very giving. But I feel like there's really good equal give and take in this situation. With the Six of Cups, you have the Two of Pentacles, another card of balance. Clearly, you're bringing your life into balance here. Three cards of balance in a row. <laughs> and uh, what I would also say is work hard, play hard. So I do feel a lot of you could be working hard because it's like maybe you're getting into a better work situation where you actually see results for the work that you're doing. And because of that, it's like you're going to want to work harder because you're getting a result. Uh, same thing in business. But again, I would make sure to um, kind of like balance out that energy with the two of pentacles so that you don't get burnt out, tired, exhausted, or whatever. Uh, we're going to pull five main themes now. Uh, let's see. You have this coral card. I would avoid fighting at all costs. Again, Mars retrograde. I mean, you're ruling planet retrograde, even though uh, depending on when you're watching this video, uh, Mars will be direct. Uh, actually, the week of the 16th, Mars is turning direct. And... Um, what I would say is it doesn't matter. Uh, I would say no arguments, no fighting, especially in the home. I always say this with Mars retrograde, no arguments in the home. It never turns out well. So no fighting <laughs> with anyone, period. Uh, next, you have this assertion card. This is you. This is the sun in Aries. So I really feel there are some victories coming in for you. A lot of big wins. But again, it's like you're turning the tables. You know, dr dragons represent your fears. So it's like you're turning the tables on, the, you know, maybe some things that you fear or some fears that you have had for a while. And I feel you're kind of like uh, turning the tables on those things. Uh, next, you have this secrets card. Uh, I, I just, I feel like you're not dealing with any situations, period, where anyone has secrets. But I also, this is kind of like a good card. It can say that you're learning secrets. We are in a time of secrets. <laughs> Why, I always say to everyone, you have to move a lot of dirt to get to the gold, right? Why do I say that? Because anything that you're trying to do, business, work, uh, love, whatever you're trying to create in your life. It's like, if you do the research and you dig through a lot of dirt, yes, you're going to have to move a lot of dirt, but I promise you there is a lot of gold in doing your research. So it's like, if you're trying to grow a business, trying to have a successful relationship, educate yourself as much as you possibly can. Most of it is going to be garbage. Most of the information you find is going to be totally useless, right? But those little gold nuggets that you find are going to be extremely, extremely valuable uh, for whatever it is you're trying to do. So I keep encouraging people to, to learn as much as you can. 
You have this uh, Pisces card, the Sun and Pisces. Uh, this card says Vision on it. A lot of energy between you and Pisces right now. Uh, Saturn will be moving into Pisces, which is probably your 12th house as well here, uh, Aries. So you are definitely dealing with Piscean energy in your 12th house. And, you know, part of it could be affecting your vision. Not literally, but like your vision for the future. <laughs> and uh, I would pay attention to that because it might be changing. You know, having Saturn in your 12th house in Pisces could be very interesting. Even if you're not a 12th house Pisces Aries, <laughs> uh, it doesn't matter. To me, for Aries in general, it's in the 12th house. So you could be kind of bringing some dreams uh, down to earth, but your dreams could be changing. The thing that you have thought you wanted your whole entire life might not be what you want in the future. And I feel like you're making some deep changes with this energy. I also feel like if you want love, there could be a Pisces coming in for you here. I'm pretty sure you've had Pisces before. Uh, and finally, you have this choices card. Uh, with all these cards of balance at the end here, uh, you could have some choices to make. And I really feel, number one, that you need to pick the choices that make you feel lighter. Like, not necessarily, you know, does that mean easier choices? I would say not necessarily. It's like, there are certain things where maybe it's like easier to stay with a person you've been with for a long period of time. It's like, lighter in the sense that you don't have to go find a new person, <laughs> but maybe actually the lighter decision would be to pick a new person. Yes, you'll have to learn about somebody new, but maybe they don't bring a bunch of drama and issues into your life. Um, I also feel like you need to listen to your heart here as well, because again, I get too much stuff from like people who don't want to lose you, people who don't want you to change your life or whatever. And I feel like you need to not listen to that, which we talked about this entire reading. So uh, pretty intense reading. I love this for you, Aries. Good stuff coming in for sure. So thank you for being here. Really appreciate it. Make sure to watch your sun, moon, and rising for a full picture of what's going on for you at this time. But thank you and definitely enjoy your week.